everybody, it's Glenn back in this video as 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days continues and it's the return of Diamond Select Toys with Universal Monster Select Frankenstein. And before anybody has a chance to furiously type away in the comments... Actually, it's Frankenstein's monster. Frankenstein is the name of the creator. Ooh, yes, we all know. Interestingly, the text on the packaging back reads, The most famous tale of Dr. Frankenstein's monster is still the 1931 Frankenstein, starring Boris Karloff as the monster. And I say interesting in that it's a pretty ballsy statement to suppose that the movie is a more famous tale than Mary. Shell is Frankenstein, the original source material, but hey, maybe that's the power of movies. Then below that are pictured other products available, the Dracula from this very line, and then the Frankenstein and Dracula Minimates box sets. So here he is out of packaging, capturing the heavy, rigid posture of the monster, a rigidity that's perhaps helped out by the fact that it's largely a big chunk of plastic with next to no articulation, which we'll get to later. And I guess I like the sculpt, especially the creases to all the fabric of his clothing. When translating a character from a black and white movie into a coloured action figure, the colours of it could end up ultimately quite jarring, but here they've kept the base colours quite suitably muted. Yet while I'm generally a big proponent of dry brushing, the technique of applying a lighter paint over a darker one to accentuate the sculpt, here it's too heavy handed, and ultimately ends up creating a degree of contrast that eliminates any subtlety. Like I'd prefer to see a slight green hue to the skin tone, and I do mean slight, not full on Herman Munster. I don't know, I just find this sandy coloured skin tone a bit lacking. But if it is lacking any subtlety, it certainly ticks the big boxes of Frankenstein. Einstein's monster with the bolts in the neck and then the big flat top head and the big boots. All of which are inventions of Universal's movie and not Mary Shelley's story. So it seems the claim of fame made by the packaging back is right as this is the iconic vision of Frankenstein that's passed down through culture. Now a quick look at the articulation and quick because there ain't that much the head rotates side to side. It's not really able to look up but does look down. There's rotation of the arms at the shoulders but then these don't hinge up, and then there's rotation up the sleeve there. So while Mary Shelley described the monster as having better agility than your average person, the version we know from the movie is slow and lumbering. With articulation in keeping with that, yeah, I'd still like to see more. Oh no, his feet do rotate at the ankle, which might seem needless, but what with his legs being sculpted so close together, it does make him a bit top heavy and prone to falling, so that articulation helps there. For an accessory, he comes with a laboratory table onto which he is born, I suppose. Assembly looks mighty complicated, but we do have instructions enclosed, so let me build this. Phew, let's complete it by placing the headrest on, and there the kitchen is now proudly ready to present your monster. And this is gonna sound weird, but I actually prefer the table to the action figure. It's got a great period sensibility about it, plus a deco which renders it rusty looking. You can imagine it's been kept in a damp castle. Famously of his monster, Dr. Frankenstein declared, it's alive! But here with the action figure, I can't do the same it's just missing that certain something that would make it transcend being the big chunk of plastic it is. Leaving it feeling like the accessory you get when you buy this nifty looking table. Anyway, click this video for more from the Universal Monsters Select line and for one that was a bit more to my liking. Stay tuned for much more to come in 31 Horror Toys in 31 Days and I hope to see you next time. Bye.